Welcome everyone. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm going to announce now the results of the vote that's taken place over the last few days on the Singularity Net Phase Two proposal, which uh, Singularity Net Foundation has uh, put forth to the the AGI token holding community. So I mean, this this was a uh, this was not the first democratic vote we put to the AGI token holding community, but was was by far the the most significant one. I mean, the, the two votes we had before were, were to vote for the supervisory council and and regarding parameters of the staking process, whereas uh, the current vote was significantly, you know, more momentous proposal and it may 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 be the biggest matter we put to a vote uh, you know at any point until we actually get to the the creation of 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 human level agi and you know for those who haven't been following this you can look at the blog post on singularity net phase two which is on singularitynet.io but in in essence the proposal that was put forth had had three aspects. I mean, one is making a version of Singularity Net AGI token on the Cardano platform, the AGI ADA token, not to get rid of the Ethereum version of the token, but to make a Cardano version of the token to go along with it. And in practice, in the near term, most of our effort will go into the Cardano version for reasons that, that we've... Uh, discussed a bunch in uh, recent videos and, and, and blog posts. It's just a technically superior blockchain platform. Governance changes part of the proposal. So we're giving more actual power to the supervisory council, which is elected by the by the token holders. And we're, the proposal is to allocate a bunch of uh, funding each month in the form of AGI tokens to projects proposed by the community and democratically selected by the community, what's called the deep, deep funding pool. And then finally, probably the most dramatic part of the proposal, you know, we had a billion AGI tokens on Ethereum that were minted in December, 2017. And what we've proposed now in the proposal that was just voted on is to create a billion more, AGI tokens, not all at once, but month by month at a, at a decreasing pace. So 15 million tokens in the first month of phase two, then, you know, 1.5% less the second month, 1.5% less the third month, and, and uh, at a decreasing rate uh, onward. So within within 10 years, about 860 million of these would be, would be released. It'll take 91 years to release all of them till in year 91, the last AGI token is, is, is released. But uh, the, the impact of all these things together will be, you know, more resources to incentivize development on, on the platform, which will be centered on ADA Cardano platform, and, and then more democratic input into this development, which is, is, incentivized by, by these tokens so that we have been discussing this proposal in the community intensively for the last uh, week or so there was a vote which uh, ran for four days and, and wrapped up around uh, 22 hours ago and I've obviously been advocating for for a yes vote the reason we came up with this proposal was we really felt this was the best way to work toward our mission of beneficial decentralized general intelligence. And I mean, as we made clear, we're going to keep working toward beneficial decentralized AGI, regardless of how this vote came out, but we can just, we can push faster and more effectively toward the mission with the additional incentive tokens and and the correlated other changes in the proposal so yeah that 
that's an introduction for those who haven't been following. Those who have been following are just waiting for me to finally get to announce the result, which you've probably guessed from the the smile on my face was a was a resound, resounding yes. So thanks, uh, many thanks to uh, everyone in the community who paid attention to this vote and took time to wrap your brains around around uh, what we're talking about. And uh, and uh, we're really really excited that uh, that we're able to to move forward at a, a faster pace now due to the in incredible incredible support of the of the community so it was a not not only was it a, a positive vote but the the margin was quite significant right so if we if we look at all of the votes all, all together there's 187 almost 188 million AGI tokens voting for yes around 20 million AGI tokens voting for no so 187 million yes 20 million no and that's uh, that's uh, really a very strong show show of support which uh, actually the 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 margin was 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 big, bigger than than what we than what we expected it was very very cool i'm i'm, I'm very happy with the with the support from from the community here and to go into a little of the technical details of the vote, there were 25, so that number of votes was 537 yes versus 28 no. So, I mean, in, in terms of the number of, of voters, over 500 for yes and, and, and 20, 20 for no. Now, when we analyzed all the votes in detail, there were 25 voters who were disqualified because there were tokens moving out of the wallet between the time of the vote and the and the the end end of the of the voting period and I'm, <clears throat> I'm sure I'm sure these 25 voters weren't trying to do anything untoward we're, we're just being very very uh, particular but that that was a uh, there was one no vote disqualified, which was a few hundred thousand tokens, and twenty four yes votes disqualified, which were like ten million tokens. So if if I mean if if there had been no sort of errors or disqualifications, it would have been like one hundred ninety seven million yes, twenty million no, which is not a material difference, right? And so the the Singularity Net Foundation had 45 million tokens, other founders, staff, consultants, another 40, 45 million. So there's around 90 million that would be considered insiders. But even if you subtracted all those, we still have like 97 million, yes, 20 million, no. So I mean, anyway, how, however, however you slice the numbers, I mean, the, the sentiment is clear. And this is a, you know, this is pretty incredible to me because I know, the crypto world <clears throat> does not like printing money, right? I mean, the, the the crypto world does not does not like, in general, increasing token supply, and I I, I don't either as, as a general principle. But I, I believe here, it's quite clear that you know increasing supply in itself is not desirable. But if you can increase demand much much more than supply, I mean, then then you know, you're 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 going to see the the overall token deflate rather than inflate. I mean, if 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 demand exceeds exceeds supply, then 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 what you're seeing is a squeeze of people trying to get the token to to use it. And that's I mean that 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 that's what we're that's what we're aiming to create here is is a situation of massive token utilization. And I, I think uh, the approval of this proposal will allow us to incentivize development that that will lead to massive token utilization and will then you know increase the value of the token dramatically and increase the value of the whole ne network dramatically so that's i'm i'm uh, it's uh you know it's 11:30 p.m. here in in Seattle area and uh, it's been a long 
five days and a long couple months of pushing for this. So I'm I'm uh, I'm frankly a bit exhausted, but I'm I'm also incredibly excited for uh, for the next phase of of Singularity Net, and uh, I'm super grateful to everybody who has participated in this. I'm I'm also very grateful to Charles Hoskinson and the whole Cardano and the IOHK community for their, their partnership, which is quite critical. And I think is is the, the the Cardano team and community is going to be very valuable allies on, on the next steps of our of our, our path to success here. I mean that's a it's a larger project than Singularity Net at this point with a broader a broader mandate. And we are going to continue to be multi-chain. But I think working closely with Charles and the Cardano team is going to be very, very helpful for, for growing utilization on, on the network. So yeah, we've got we've got a lot of hard work ahead now. I mean basically, basically what we've what we've won in this vote is the opportunity to spend a number of years working really, really hard to build and incentivize, you know, development of singularity net network and, and utilization of, of, of AGI token. And, you know, this is, this is exactly what I want to be working really hard on for the next years. And, and the same for all the rest of singularity net team. And I know for a lot of the community, because, you know, one, one key aspect of the, proposal that, that has just has just been so resoundingly approved. <clears throat> I mean, it's not just that new tokens are, are going to be released. It, it's that there's going to be more involvement by the community and governance and decision making. And 30% of the new tokens released are, are for democratically community decided projects that are proposed proposed by the community, right? So I mean, we're we're not going to be able to really create beneficial generalized intelligence in a decentralized way, beneficial decentralized AGI. We're not really going to be able to create this with just a handful of people, you know, in the employ of Singularity Net Foundation. We're, we're going to need a, a much broader community contributing and build, building software that uses the, the AGI token to achieve different intelligent functions, right? I mean, we're, we're going to need to pull in a lot of community developer effort and uh, even, even evangelical effort and uh, all, all, all sorts of different contributions. So I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, working more closely with the amazing community we have, which has given so much, so much uh, support in the, in this election. So we, we can really, we can really do this. I mean, they, I mean, make no mistake like we we have a big job ahead of us right i mean we're trying to create thinking machines that think as well as people and in some ways better than people and we're also trying to do that in a way that's more difficult technically than what big companies like like google and amazon and facebook are doing because we're trying to do it decentralized and i mean we're fighting against mega corporations and, and uh, you know, governmental organizations that are trying to centralize all these things. So it's a, it's a very hard task. On, on, on the other hand, I think it's a very possible task, both, you know, technically and, and organizationally. And, you know, the vote that we've just received gives us a significantly higher odds of, of actually pulling off this crazy thing. So, yeah, it's, it's, <clears throat> really a pleasure to uh, announce the positive results of, of, of this vote. I mean, I'm, I'm in incredibly, incredibly uh, psyched that it's uh, come out not just positive, but with, with such a, a definitive margin. And I'm really, really overjoyed to be working with all of you in the community on on building a singularity net through this next phase. So yeah, thanks. Uh, Thanks so much, everyone. I'm I'm gonna try to get a full night's sleep for the the first time in the in like in like a week now. But uh, thanks for all, all your support and the careful consideration.